Time now for At The Market with Brian Neiman. At The Market's videotaped before a live audience at Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. At The Market is sponsored by Fifth Third Bank, The Curious Bank, by St. John's Providence River District Hospital, Waste Management, Think Green, and St. Clair County Community Mental Health. Now let's join our host for this week's At The Market. I got my other ingredients out here that someone actually cut from me, but... Lauren? I don't think... Would you cut them for me, Lauren? Thanks. This is the strawberries here we sliced, the sliced almonds, and feta cheese, which yep. can all be bought here at Neiman's. Yes, it can. Um, and there is, a, we'll start with a 10 ounce bag of salad greens, which is actually like a bag and a half, so. So that's just regular, that's just lettuce, and then it's got some, what, radicchio? Yeah, I grabbed a five lettuce mix. Okay. Because it's kind of colorful. It looks good with the, you know, mm -hmm. the... Absolutely. Gives it yep. a nice color. Put about half of this bag in. Okay. Gives us close to 10 ounces as we can. A little more. Okay. Looks like five-star quality chef material for me. You, yeah. I mean, you measured it out like you knew exactly. Yeah. That's how I do it. Ooh. It's 10 Perfect. ounces. 10 ounces. Right. So, for recipe sake, I had a eighth, eighth a cup of sliced almonds. Okay. We're going to want to throw that on next. And this is pretty close to an eighth cup. Looks, looks exactly like an eighth of a cup to me. Right. We'll just go all You're no five-star chef. I'm no five-star host. So we're going to go yeah, really well together. we're doing wonderful. Yes. Okay, the next thing you come up with is your sliced strawberries. We're going to throw those on. And this is the really cool thing about the salad, like I said. If I want to look real fancy like I know what I'm doing, I come here to Neiman's, I buy these different ingredients. Yeah, because we, we look like we know what we're doing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Okay, and then here's the toughest part. Feta cheese, which you can also buy here at Neiman's. Usually yep. comes in a block. I broke it up a little bit just for time's sake here. So you can crumble that on there. So the nice thing about the feta cheese, you could really, you could use a goat cheese. Yeah, you, you can could do anything with it. And there are some flavored uh, feta cheeses over there. There's some with like a Greek feta and yeah. so different ones like that over there. You could use any of those because really the sweetness is going to come from, you know, the, from the dressing. Entirely from the dressing. And a little bit of that with the strawberries. But the balsamic in the strawberries is really, that's so how right. we kind of did that correspond. Right. We do, uh, I'll get to that point later too, but we do, you know, with each of these dressings, we have like a signature salad. Okay. Blue cheese goes with the other one, but we'll get to that after we do this. I don't so we got all, Take your time. We got all our ingredients in here. Feta cheese. Uh, strawberries, almonds. I'm going to take the Irene's sweet balsamic vinaigrette. You want to shake this really good because there's sugar in it, there's okay. oil. So you want to get that mixed up before you mix it. We're going to dump this in. Brian's going to holler when I got a eighth of a cup to a fourth of a cup, right? You got it. I, okay. I got the eye. Eagle eye. Okay. That's we'll good. We'll just see where we look. <laughs> Kidding, I don't know. There we go. That's a little over, but. That's okay. That's how, we, that's how we like it. That's all right. So then this is, this is another fun part too. You wear a nice pair of gloves and you can hand mix it. And then if you need more, you can add more. Grandma taught me this way back when. <laughs> this is Grandma's first, uh, what she showed you the very first time? This is the very first time. Lauren, can I have a, one of those forks, please? Thank you. She does a great job. Great I mean, job, really, Lauren. did you see that? That was excellent. Nicely done. <laughs> okay. So there we go. And that's really it. And that's now it. if you want to garnish it, right? You can always keep like I didn't do. You can always keep some of your ingredients to the side. Yep. You can always add more dressing. Sunflower seeds are really good on here, people do too. Okay. In addition, but I'm kinda of just an almond strawberry kind of guy is good right. for me. Okay. Well, I am gonna try this with one of these bowls while right. you talk about some of the other dressings and things that we can do. And Susie for Mayor, that's the Eight Air Soccer Fest coming up. Tell us a little bit about okay. that too. Yeah, that's I a had to wear deal. this uh, shirt up here today to support my aunt. Susie Ackett, so everyone knows, uh, Soccer Fest is next Sunday. That's in Eight Air. If you guys have never been to the Soccer Fest, uh, I recommend checking it out. It's uh, definitely a sight to see. But anyways, they do this thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a sight do, to see. They do this thing every year where, you know, someone gets voted in as mayor. So this is her shirt. It says Susie for Mayor. It's got an Atkins logo on the back. If anyone wants to buy one, we do sell them before, the, uh, before and during the 
Sucker Don't mind vote. me, I'm just eating. Go ahead. Before and during the sucker fest. How do you vote for Susie? Uh, you can stop in, where? You can stop in at the catering kitchen, right? Yep. Right up front. Okay. You can vote there. You can vote at, uh, I think, Adair Bars and other participating businesses. Okay. All the Adair, you know, all those big right. time Adair businesses. Right Adair downtown Salvers. or the suburbs? Right, uh, we're talking downtown. Right downtown. Not at Adair Heights. Not Adair, Adair Heights, <laughs> right. Not any of the Adair areas Farms, right, it's right, yeah, downtown. right downtown. Yep, yep. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. But yeah, give her a vote. Uh, I know she's up against um, Johnny Willie, who uh, owns uh, Adair Salvage out there, so it's kind of fun. There's kind of some exciting things, and I think. Right, uh, and, he, and there's a, I mean, I guess there's quite the scandal with him, bribery stuff going on. Yes. I don't, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to start it here, but I would, yeah, I would vote for Susie. And there's, I don't want to. There's, you really can't talk about it because there is an investigation, but, you know, no, I don't want to get involved. <laughs> so I'm going to try and keep totally it. Totally I was trying to keep it clean, but, yeah, definitely <laughs> right. keep vote it for clean. Susie Ackett's for, uh, for but, Mayor of Ader. But the cool thing about that fest is it's really to raise money for some great causes. Mm -hmm. And it's a food drive, and they do all kinds of fun stuff. So, And it, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's the number one uh, event in St. Clair County last few years that's brought money in for the Salvation Army. So it does serve a good cause. If you guys ever been to Adair, if you drive out there and see literally, you know, a thousand people mm -hmm. or more, you know, walking around the streets, it's, really, it's, it's a sight a, to see, you know. It's a great local community event. To, it, you know, it helps raise some stuff uh, for some great organizations, so it's really cool. Yeah. You know, and that, when, when is that again? Just about, That's next, next Sunday, Sunday, May 5th. Wait, 6th. Starting at May 6th? Yeah. Sorry, May 6th. Yeah. Thanks, Lauren. You're welcome. You probably should And Lauren's going to be singing the national anthem there. That's right. Oh. If anyone wants to come over there, she's going to be singing the national anthem. So put some pressure on her. Do you want to practice now? No. Sure? <laughs> no, I'm good. Go ahead. No. We tried. That's all we could do. All right. And you can get these dressings here at Neiman's. Where else can you pick them up? You can buy them right from Atkins Catering and Soup, uh, any Atkins Handmade Pie Shop. Okay. And... Uh, if you go to our website, there's some other locations you can find them at, too. Okay. But we want you to buy them here at Neiman's. Please That's do. what we're saying. Buy them here at Neiman's. And, um, uh, talk a little bit about the soup, because we have usually three a day. Yeah. We sell them in all three of our stores now. We take them up all the way to Alpine and Talas, and they do great. Well, yeah, Brian wanted me to make soup today, but like I said, I'm not a chef. So, uh, <laughs> so I had to go really simple. But the soup <laughs> sells itself here at Neiman's. Uh, people love it here, and we, we appreciate all the support we get. But the soups are made from scratch. You know, we make our own bases, our own stocks, yep. uh, everything up, which makes them unique, you know, compared to a normal condensed can of soup. Yep. You know, there's a lot less sodium. Great know. flavor. For the most part, a lot of them are low-fat. Get out to the, you, you guys are in Adair, mm -hmm. right downtown. Yep. Stop out there if you want to see them. They got the shop going on. Oh, yeah. You kind of can see back in there, and people are working real hard. So it's a great little com uh, community business. They're doing great. Um, you guys do the coat drive and all that sort of oh, stuff. Yeah. So. I mean, they give back as much as, the, as we give to them, so we really appreciate it. Andrew? Hey. Thanks, bud. Hey, thank I appreciate you. Lauren, good job today. We'll you be seeing you at the Adair Sucker Fest, singing the national anthem. Yep. We have samples, and you should be here. We have got a really great crowd today, and we're going to do this. But uh, get down here, have some of this, get the dressings. They're in our store. There are other places you can pick them up. They are fantastic. There's a great salad. It's a great summer salad, something that's a little bit lighter than, you know, a traditional ranch or Thousand Island dressing for the summer, so it's excellent. So give it a shot, and um, we're going to be right back after this. No matter which door you walk through, you have access to all of us. I'm a neurootologist at Providence Park Hospital. I'm a pediatric oncology nurse at St. John Hospital. No matter what kind of care you need. We have someone in the system who can help you. I'm a bariatric dietitian at St. John Macomb Oakland Hospital. I'm a cardiologist at Providence Hospital. You're covered in the St. John Providence Health System. It's a system of incredible hospitals and over 125 medical centers. We can provide everything that you and your family need from dependable pharmacies, to experienced home health and hospice services and trusted, compassionate behavioral health care. We are a faith-based system, so we care for the mind, body, and spirit. We treat the whole person. It's more than just what we do. It's our passion. No matter what service you need, from preventative care to rehab, from sickness to health. Our system has Southeast Michigan covered. St. John Providence Health System, a passion for healing. Aligning your company's economic goals with its environmental ones can be a challenge. 
there are many sides to consider. As North America's leading environmental solutions company, waste management works with you to rethink your resources, minimize your waste, and achieve your green goals all the way around. To learn more, go to thinkgreen.com. And we are back and we have a very, very special guest. Christian Jones from the uh, St. Clair Community College is their commencement speaker. I am. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. So tell me a little bit about how did you get chosen and how did you end up being the, I mean, I, was it, I'm sure the governor was probably busy, then they went to the senator and then they came to you. Yes. Is that how that worked? Or? <laughs> Pretty much, and uh, no. Um, I was actually sitting in my office at work and I received a phone call from a number which I just let go to voicemail because I didn't know who it was. And I, uh, I hit play on my voicemail and it turns out it was Sean Starkey who's head of public relations asking me if I was uh, interested in possibly speaking. Okay. I had apparently been nominated by one of my teachers. So oh, cool. I felt uh, pretty, not, pretty honored That's by nice. being asked, so. And what, um, you, you graduated there this year? What's, yep. what, what's your, how did you end up there? What you got going on? Well, I ended up there about two years ago. I just went there straight out of St. Clair High School. Okay. Uh, was really convenient because my father had worked there, which means that that kind of helped me uh, get through tuition and stuff right. like that. Right. So it was very convenient in that aspect. And then also it was uh, very nice because I could stay at home and eat all my grandmother's cooking. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, it's yeah. a little bit cheaper doing that than going into a dorm somewhere. So what are your plans for next year? What's, what do you want to go do? And are you moving on? What's your plan? Yep, I'll be moving on. Uh, next year I intend to go to Oakland University and study communication. Okay, so great. Be able to wear an ear, earpiece like you. Earpiece, you get, this could all be yours someday. <sighs> like, what are you doing next week? <laughs> we got we have Next a week I'll be at commencement. So. Okay, <laughs> well, he's, he's busy next week, but I know we got a couple shows that I'm trying to get past. Paul, we could get Christian on to, he can help. So, um, what are you going to talk about? Don't give the don't give the secret away, but just kind of give us an over you know an overview of what you're talking oh, about. Oh boy, can I do that? So. Um, the basis of my speech is uh, kind of about pride and ownership, how people who have ended up at SC4, it's uh, kind of based on economics because you have students who aren't able to afford tuition at four-year universities, or right. you have people who come back to school after possibly right. getting laid off or just needing to further education. And so by going to SC4, it's kind of like taking ownership of their future right. to opening up their uh, future opportunities in life. What so. was your favorite professor and why? Oh, so many of them live in St. Clair. I don't know if I can answer <laughs> that right now. That's right, just pick one. Oh, um, I'd have to go with my karaoke partner, Tom Kephart. Okay, so. <laughs> all right, yeah, there you go. Well, so we now have karaoke partners. That's how, that's the choice. But no, what like made it. him the best, your favorite professor, and some of the other things that you got from the professors up there at SC4? Oh, uh, for Tom, he is the only professor I've had every semester as okay. far. So for the past two years, I've had him every year. He is the theater instructor up there, which is something I've been heavily involved in. Sure. So, okay. And then, uh, and really, across the board, all of my teachers have been really phenomenal people. Very Just, helpful, smaller classes. Oh, yes. SC4, really. And a lot of people who don't know what they want to do, mm -hmm. it's a great place to go to get started and figure out how you're going to get there and what you're going to do. So. That may have also been something I left out <laughs> as a reason I went there. <laughs> but now you have a plan. Yep. You know what you want to do. When you grow up, what do you want to do, Christian? Um, have a family. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly not sure on a career okay. yet. Good. Uh, that was the whole point of communications because so un yep. unlike English, I could try to sneak into a lot of different things. I, I also have a communications degree, so as you can tell, I never shut up, I just keep going, so it's only the, that's the only reason I got through school, but <laughs> that and my wife did a lot of my homework, so, but, you know, anyways. But no, Christian, congratulations. Thank you very much. What an honor to actually have a student give the commencement to talk about, you know, the new kids coming in and then the freshmen and stuff like that, so congratulations. Just Thank you, you. I you appreciate bet. it. Thanks for coming out today, too. So Thanks for having me. It. All right, we are going to take a break, and we'll be right back after this. But don't forget, get down here for some of these samples. Thanks. Challenge the clock. Challenge trends. Challenge gravity. Challenge expectations. 
Challenge world records. Challenge the culture and the future. Challenge banking. We challenge ourselves to be curious about ideas that make banking better. We're Fifth Third Bank, the curious bank. And what another great family show here at Neiman's Family Market for at the market. We had, you know, Andrew Ackett's from Ackett's Soups and uh, Catering right there in Adair. We had Christian Jones from uh, local St. Clair Kid who was going to give him the commencement at SC4. I mean, what a really great thing. We've got the Adair Soccer Fest coming up. But uh, this really couldn't be possible to get that stuff out there if it wasn't for Fifth Third Bank, um, St. John River District Hospital, St. Clair Community mental health. There's a couple other C's in there, but I don't remember where they are, but it's St. Clair Community, mental health, and then waste management. And it is really important to thank those guys for helping us out, to bring you this show, to show you some great local restaurants, some really cool things going on. And uh, we really appreciate everything they've done. So we are going to be right back here next week with another great restaurant. And uh, matter of fact, I'm going to cook. So if you thought Andrew wasn't a five-star chef, wait till you see next week. But uh, we also have James who's going to be down here, and we're both going to do something kind of different. Um, I'm going to do a grill on thing as the kick off the grilling season, and we've got some other fun stuff to do. So, But I appreciate it for joining us. Get down here next week for some wonderful samples, and have a great week. Join us again next week for At the Market with Brian Neiman, videotaped live before our audience at Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. At the Market is brought to you by Fifth Third Bank, The Curious Bank, by St. John Providence River District Hospital, Waste Management, St. Clair County Community Mental Health, and by CTV Community TV for Marine City and St. Clair. <laughs>